Rose's transportation business started with a wheelbarrow, going to the docks, picking up things, could be people's suitcases that are going to the hotel, could be packages that have to go to stores that people have been waiting for, supplies, who knows, but she would take everything and anything. And eventually the in-laws wound up creating Lewis Transport. So now we're talking cars and trucks and you know, so once uh, that technology happened, um, that became, it's just a growth of, growth of a business. As a black woman, doing something like that, starting your own business and, you know, doing what she did really set her apart in, the, in that time period. I don't think there was really anyone else, at least in this area, that would have been doing that. Racism was very uh, active and slavery existed very prominently in Annapolis Royal and throughout the province of Nova Scotia. So certainly different times, different risks, most importantly. I was really quite surprised when I learned that uh, Canada looked at her as Canada's unofficial first policewoman. She worked on the wharves um, here in Annapolis Royal. If people weren't following the rules, that could definitely impact her, her business and what she was trying to do. Really, just for a woman in that time period to be able to have that kind of authority and to have people actually listen to what she was saying is is huge. She was definitely a person who was very strong, very determined and independent. And she definitely persevered and had to overcome a lot of things. Her legacy is, is huge for us, uh, in my opinion. And in that time, her biggest option would have been to be a maid or an indentured servant. That's what makes a true entrepreneur. She created a job for herself. When I think of Rose, I'm inspired all the time. I think about removing barriers, I think about not knowing any limits, and just going for it because at the end of the day, we all have one life to live, and you might as well go for those things that are important for you and live that dream.